In this video, we want to solve the differential equation 1 minus x times y prime minus y equals 0 using series. We're going to define y to be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of c sub n times x to the n. The derivative, we're going to start it at n equals 1, and that's going to be n times c sub n times x to the n minus 1. Now replace y and y prime into the equation. And now we're going to distribute the sum to both the 1 and the negative x. When I multiply by negative x, this exponent of x becomes x to the n power. So think of the x getting absorbed inside the sum. And you can do that, you can bring it inside the sum because it does not depend on n. Now, there's a little issue because I have n equals 0 here n equals 1, n equals 1. I want all these to be the same. And the other thing is, I want the exponents to be x to the n. So why don't we do n equals 0 first? So the second term, if I let n equals 0, the whole expression inside is 0, because you have 0 times c sub, c sub 0 times x to the 0. That's all 0. So if I put n equals 0, it doesn't change the result here. Now, for the first sum, I want to make this 0. So if I decrease this index by 1, that means I have to increase all the other n's by 1. So instead of n, I would have n plus 1. And instead of n minus 1, I'm going to have n. So just add 1 to each n here. Now we have every term in terms of a sum. So I could just bring it all inside one sum. And I notice that I have a x to the n for all of these. Let's factor that out. And so this sum is going to equal to 0. That means that the inside, this whatever is inside the brackets, is equal to 0. And then now I can solve for c sub n plus 1 by adding n times c sub n plus c sub n. Factor out a c sub n on the right here. And then I can cancel out a n plus 1 from both sides and get that c sub n plus 1 is equal to c sub n. So now if n equals 0, we have c sub 1 equals c sub 0. n equals 1, c sub 2 equals c sub 1. And as you do this along, you get, for the first eight terms, that c sub 8 equals c sub 7. And so we know that the general solution is going to be y equals c sub 0 times the sum of x to the n. So then the first eight terms will just be c sub 0 plus c sub 0 x, etc. x squared all the way up to x to the 8th power. And that's our answer.